Hi, boys and girls. Today we are going to be learning about personal narratives. We're going to be learning about what personal narratives are, why we write them, and how we write them. Okay? Let's jump in. What is a personal narrative? A personal narrative focuses on small moments from your life. You are going to use pronouns such as I or my. A personal narrative has a beginning, a middle, and an end. So it goes in order. We use the word first, next, then, and last to describe our events that are in our story. The third thing that goes into your personal narrative is um, you're describing people, places, and things that are in your story. So what things look like, what things smell, how they smell, how they feel, how they taste, and what they sound like. You're going to tell about how you feel in that moment. And if you want to, you can use dialogue uh, if you are talking to somebody else. Okay. All right. So our topic is what is your favorite activity to do for fun? Tell about a time that you did this activity. So on this, on this slide, Miss Lee had put some examples of maybe some sports that you like to play. Maybe you like to play with your toys. Maybe you like to go outside and play on the playground. Maybe you like to draw. Maybe you like to do gymnastics. Maybe you like to cheer. You can think about what your favorite activity of all time is. And I also want you to think about the activity and the last time that you did that activity. Okay, so maybe you went to the park last week and you want to write about that time. Or maybe you want to write about your most favorite time playing basketball with your friend. Or you want to write about a time that you played um, you played football with your friends at recess. Okay, so that those are all good examples of a time that you have played that activity. We're only going to be talking about one event. Okay, boys and girls, one time. So if you're going to be talking about something that you did last week, that's what we're writing about. We're not writing about last year. We're not writing about kindergarten. You're only choosing one event, okay? So if you want to write about kindergarten, that's the only thing that you're writing about, all right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and share this screen with you. Here. Of my graphic organizer. On your sheet of paper, you are going to write your graphic organizer just like this. On my piece of paper, you can see that Miss Lee has written her graphic organizer. I'm just going to toggle between both so that you can see me and then you can see my PowerPoint, okay? So I'm going to be writing about a time. So I'm going to be modeling how you are supposed to write in your graphic organizer. So I'm going to be modeling and writing about a time that I swam with my friends. Okay, so who was there? It was me. I want to say my sister and my friend. Um, my friend, let's see, who did I go with at that time? My friend, Sally, okay? What, what did we do? I forgot that question mark there. What did we do? We swam all day at our aunt's house, okay? So my, my aunt has a, a swimming pool and we swam there. When did we swim? We swam in the summertime, so I'm just going to put in summer here. Remember, a graphic organizer does not have to have complete sentences. And then where? Where did they swim? So I said we swam at our aunt's house. My aunt's house, okay? So that is my graphic organizer. I am done. So on your paper, this is what you should be writing. So for who, Miss Lee wrote, me, Sally, sister. This is what your writing should look like, okay? What 
We swam all day. Okay, you're writing your story. Miss Lee is writing her story. When in the summer? And where? Where? I want to put aunt's house. Oops. Aunt's house. Okay. Like I said, this is a graphic organizer that will help you write your sentences. We are not writing complete sentences for this. This is a very short activity. If you need to refer back to anything, please pause this video and look at this graphic organizer. After you are done with your graphic organizer, you are going to submit that onto Schoology. And then tomorrow, we will start writing our, um, our story together. Okay, I'm very excited for that. So I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Bye.